The fact is, when you and I live like Jesus, other people will tend to want that too. In fact, Jesus says, hey, talk the talk and walk the walk, and you'll see. Trust me on this one. Others will want what you have. James chapter 2, verse 26 is a wonderful verse, I think. It says, faith apart from works is dead. James makes a very important point. Works, he's telling us, are the evidence of faith. They are the demonstration or proof of a living faith. Think of it like this. Faith and the works that faith produces are as inseparable as two sides of the same coin. All my life, or I should say, all my father's life, really. He was so soft-spoken, so passive, that some, I mean, I, this is hard to say, really. He's been gone for 26 or 27 years, but I, I walked away from him while he was talking to me so many times, I'd need a calculator to figure it out. I never listened to him, never took him seriously. And in fact, I always, I always understood his just general demeanor to be a sign of serious, serious weakness. It wasn't until my father started to sing in the heavenly choir that I realized that that isn't true at all. And that in fact, instead, that was evidence of a very strong faith. So yeah, 26, 27 years later, I'm sitting here thinking, gosh, I wish I had some of that. I wish I was more like my dad. I wish I had a sign of strength that was evident to other people, a sign of my faith like that, being more soft-spoken, a better listener than a talker. I, it's taken me way too many years, but I'll admit it right here, right now. That really is what grace to go looks like, I think.